is point out and nuclear physics. Fourteen is the entirely new digital technology. And what is we are going to do it now is the topic number twelve. It is the advanced part of electric circuits. That is the electromagnetic induction. There are three units, subunits: induced EMF, alternating current, power loss of transmission. In briefly, let me confirm. What is meant by induced EMF? Anybody? Just a dictionary meaning. What is meant by induced EMF? Sir, when uh, voltage is being induced in wire because of the magnetic field. Okay, good, correct. You just done in ICC that you have seen that uh, because of some kind of motion with the help of magnetic field, then some current is induced. Rather, it is the change in magnetic flux. Very good. So we will discuss that in detail. I think you are on the right track. We have done it in the ICC level. It is called. It is discovered by scientist, a famous scientist. Faraday. Faraday. Very good. Faraday. So, so 12.1. Means induced EMF. The credit goes to induced EMF. The credit goes to Michael Faraday. So Faraday's law. This is Faraday's law of induced EMF. So you got it. The dictionary meaning. Now alternative current. Can anybody say what is meant by alternative current? Yes. Oscillating current. Very good. Changes the direction. Very good, past unit. Yeah. It is not changing the voltage. Plus 10, plus 1. Every, 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 every half frequency. F, every? Every half frequency the direction changes. Uh, 0.5 frequency. No, no. Don't say half frequency. Uh, half wavelength. Half wavelength. Half wavelength. Uh, don't say that. It is just say that, that yeah, yeah. the alternative frequency is uh, 50 hertz. 50 hertz. Means in a second, 50 times it is changing. Oh. In a second, 50 times this thing. Because we are just confused. The field associated with the coil is increasing or decreasing? Magnetic increasing. And then decreasing. When I see it, it is decreasing. So that, what he said, whenever you approach or whenever you see, the current is induced. The voltage is induced. Yes, sir. The voltage is induced. Yes, sir. So the so, current is there, sir. So the change in magnetic field, the change in magnetic field, the magnetic field. They write in the form of coil, which is changing magnetic flux, associated with the coil, associated with the coil, with the coil, inducers. Known as EMF. What is the full form of EMF? Electromotive force. So, so this voltage force is the maximum PD. Yes, maximum PD. So this is nothing but induced voltage. Induced voltage. Once you know the induced voltage, I know that R is the resistance of the coil. Then I can calculate induced current.
if you simply stay, you are steady, whether it is high value or low value, if it is steady, there is no induction takes place. The change is so that is what he said that there is a formula given. Uh, should I erase this side? The formula given is. Sir, but here, sir, the actual uh, idea was uh, for the induction was if uh, current can produce man, uh, man, uh, magnetic field, then magnetic field can also produce current. Uh, that is already done now. Sir, so, no, the principal idea of Faraday is. Yes, yes, for this invention. Yes, so, current can produce magnetic field. So, by the OSS can also have it. Yes. That's also his principle. The reverse field. When OSS said that. So, what he was. So, what he was. See, it is OSS. OSS experiment. Already confirmed that it implies the electric field. Reduces magnetic. Ah, electric field is converted into magnetic field. Sir, like this, sir. Yes. Correct. Correct. Using the third one, we are using right hand thumb rule. Okay, very good. You are remembering. You are linking it properly. Now, uh, sir, this. Sir, sir, we started with sir. Uh, Faraday is first started with keeping two magnets. And then for placing a wire in between. Yes. He explained so that if this is happening, why not a reverse? So he was trying to find out magnetic field. So he kept two magnets and a wire. Yes. With steady, it doesn't give any induced effect. But when there is a change. So what is that? Is that it? Yes. Oeste. 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 Last year we must have studied. No. No. Last year we have studied. So it is a, uh, this is producing magnetic field into electric field. Uh, this is properly called as you are generating electricity. What is called as generator? Which rule is used for a generator? Right hand, sir. Right hand. Okay, not left hand. So yes. you do the answer. Uh, Flemings, F L E M M. Flemings, right hand. If I take the three fingers of the right hand, these are the three fingers. This is your thumb of right hand. Okay, this is the right hand. And then after thumb, the next finger is four finger. You call this as first finger, four finger or index so finger. Thumb is first finger. Is right finger. Yes, there are only four fingers. Thumb is not a finger. Yes, the thumb and four and finger. The third one is. Third one is middle finger. So what he says, all three should be perpendicular to each other. All three should be perpendicular to each other. Hold them and then give supply a two. Means what you are supplying in Fleming's left hand, Fleming's right hand rule? You are supplying magnetic and force. Therefore. Force, motion, B for magnetic field. So you are you are following the FBI rule. FBI rule. What the force is given to the thumb? Force, magnetic field. Magnetic field is four finger. Then current is induced. This current is induced current is always given by small letter. Small I. Small I indicates induced current because the capital I is referred as the real current. Induced current is given a special symbol. It is not. It is nothing but alternating current. It is nothing but in our case it is AC. This is our AC. So if I have to hold the finger in the right hand, see, as if magnetic field is in this direction. Suppose we have north pole is cut, we have south pole is cut, and the forces. The upward direction, like as if there is a conductor you are taking it out. Then the current is induced in this direction. Current is induced in this direction. So this is the uh, clue to confirm the direction of the induced current. So, so this is a force, right? Correct. F B I. First thing is that change in the first time it will go up, then second will go down. Yes, yes. What is it? It's actually AC current is produced. AC current is produced. Because in the generator, the motion 
moves up, down, up, down. So the current is this way, as well as this way, this way, in opposite ways. It is up, then down. Now you see where the current is moving. Whatever the things have gone up, it is going to come down. But the magnetic field is in the same direction. When it comes down, the current is in the opposite direction. Previously it was this side, now this side. So are you getting alternating current production? So this current is having a relation with the F and B that is the famous Bill formula. What is the relation? F is equal to Bill somewhere B is anything that. So F is equal to B I L. This time I'll use small i. So I is no, sir. Hmm. Uh, the constant into I I will this is I do that the variation from A and B. So same thing. Okay. This, is, this is the induced okay. this is the induced current. This is the English term. See the link is here. It is the same formula. We are fitting around this. Now you may ask, how can I relate this bill in terms of phi? How can I relate bill in terms of phi? How did he state this statement? Should I link it here? Yes. Okay. Now look here. How to link F is equal to B I L with D phi. What is D phi? D phi is change in magnetic field or flux. What is F? F force. What is B? Yes? B is the permeability constant. This is the permeability constant. This is the magnetic field constant. So here, mu zero is permeability. B is not permeability. This is the magnetic field constant. Don't get confused. That this B is right here. B is the magnetic field strength magnetic field strength this has relation with the d phi how by looking at a formula the unit what is a b unit waiver per meter square waiver per meter square or t t for tesla by looking at the formula so b has to be Plus B has to be change in magnetic field, measure in Weber, upon the area in water. 